fonts are truly amazing. There's literally a font for any occasion, any style, any mood that you're in. But some people really struggle with how to put fonts together. And it can be tough sometimes to know which font families really go together well. All right, let's get into some tips on how to pair fonts together. So the first one is going to be use contrasts. And this is something that you're going to see a lot when you see fonts that are paired together. Some ways we can use contrast is with width. So you can see here that this top one is narrow and this one is more expanded. In the middle here, we can mix styles. So we can mix script with a sans serif or we can mix a sans serif with a serif. Something like that is just to play around and see what different styles really work together well. And then we can also use weight. Over here on the right, you see that the top one is more bold and the bottom one is more thin. So those are three different ways. For example, you can use contrast. Okay, now building off of tip one is tip two, which is using similarity. So there should still be some contrast, but there can be similarities between your font choices. So let's look at some examples. Over here, we see that the width is the same. They're both narrow, but they're different because one is thin, one is bold, but they are both narrow. So there is a similarity there that can really help you when finding fonts to pair together. We can also use the same style. So the style here is the same sans serif, but one is narrow and one is more regular, right? But the style is the same. You can use a difference in appearance of the same style to help you. Over on the right, we can see here that the weights are the same. So one is a script and one is a slab serif, but there's a still a similarity in the uh, stroke thickness, right? Still thin, they're both the same, and so that similarity can help when pairing fonts. Okay, tip number three is sizing and spacing. So if we look some examples here, we can use what's called the one-third rule. So the top one is big, and then the subtext there is about one-third of the size. So we have a big headline text, and then we have a smaller subtext here that's one-third of the size, and it can create some really nice uh, hierarchy there for you. Now, we can also achieve this with spacing. So we don't necessarily have to have a huge headline or super small text. We can use spacing to provide that contrast and that hierarchy by increasing the spacing between these letters, as you can see right here, which creates that difference, but still pairs well together. Now in the fourth tip, we want to use font families. This is a method you could use and we already have a lot of them in Kittle here for you to use. So this H teen modern collection, let me just show you an example of how these are similar. If we go over here to our text settings and I type in HT, we've already crafted this font family of fonts that go together, right? So that is one way for you to use uh, contrast correctly is use font families that are already made up together. So let's look at some examples of, of some font pairings that go well together. So in this first example, we have the monoline script mixed with a neoclassical serif style. And these are working together because they're very high contrast. One is a script monoline style like you would see in very thin lettering. And the bottom is an extremely high bold serif font that offers super high contrast together. And you would see this maybe commonly used as a logo or maybe in some sort of advertising or something like that uh, you wouldn't really want to use that script font for subtext it'd be hard to read so in our second example this is using font families together right so this is one font family this adventurer family and we have one that is very narrow and then we have one that is a little bit more uh, beefy a little more bolder below but you can see these rugged edges uh, are the characteristic that both of these families share and so you can kind of tell that these are coming from the same style they're both serifs and they both work together even though one is narrow and one is more wide in this third example these are both serif fonts one is a display which is there in the middle the old alfie font it's very ornate with detail and then the goblin font is a more geometric style uh, with the serifs and they provide high contrast between the two shapes even though one is much more elegant and one is much more refined you can tell easily which one is the more important and which one is the subtext even though we have these kind of flourishings here in the decorative font these still work together because there are elements of similarity in this example here we have a much more 1930s inspired layout so we have this script and then we also have this more sharp sans serif kind of great gatsby feeling font here but they still pair together well because of that 
weight. The weight here is the same in the stroke. So even though uh, one is a script and one is a more narrow, very tall font, they go to well together as a selection because of the similarity in the stroke here. In this example, we have geometric characteristics that make up the structure of the font, but they're different enough to still provide a lot of high contrast. One is much bigger and one is much smaller and they share similar characteristics in different ways. You can see the shapes here in this top one, they get more narrow. They're still both sans serif, but you can see the structural makeup uses similar uh, geometry, but in different ways. And so these create intrigue uh, that are nicely paired together. In this last example, I just wanted to show you how you could get a little bit more extreme. This one is definitely much more bold, but it just goes to show you how you can use heavy contrast uh, in your type layout. And so your eye immediately knows where to go in this top one, this very heavy display, and then a more traditional serif. This one might, again, be a little bit more extreme, but there's an easy hierarchy here. There's easy contrast here and so hopefully this helps you understand how you can start pairing fonts together well. So I know we covered a lot of rules in these examples but again just have fun think about what feels good to your eye and experiment and see what you come up with. Well I hope you found this quick video helpful and start to have a better understanding of how fonts go together. And again if you haven't signed up for Kittle yet go ahead and do so using the link down in the description. It's completely free and you're gonna have access access to a ton of amazing fonts. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and for using Kittle. Until next time, create magic.